Hey guys, okay, welcome back everyone. It's Coach David here from Results Inc. once again, wishing you this time all a very happy new year. Now, a new year is the perfect time to turn over a new page, which is probably why so many of us tend to make New Year's resolutions. The change of calendar it feels kind of like a fresh start, right? And a great chance to change some habits and establish some new routines that'll help us to grow. Of course, resolutions are much, much easier to make than they are to keep. And lots of studies show that by the end of March, many of us have abandoned our new plans and settled back into our old patterns. Now, while this can mean for some people that the resolutions are inherently pointless, there is some good news. According to one study published in the Journal of Clinical Psychology, no less, those who set New Year's resolutions are 10 times more likely to actually change their behaviour than people who don't set themselves these yearly goals. So, how can we make it more likely that we will stick to our resolutions? Well, this video and the one to follow it will include some excellent tips that, if followed, might just help you beat the odds. Ready to start? Okay, number one, choose a specific goal. Every year, millions of us resolve to lose weight, be more productive, get in shape, or stop using air quotes altogether. Instead of picking goals like these that are non-specific, focus on something more concrete that you can realistically set your sights on. In other words, choose a very specific and achievable goal. For example, you might choose to lose five kilograms or compile and follow a daily to-do list or even run a 10K. Make your goal realistic rather than crazy drastic. And that way you can plan how to accomplish and stick to your goal over the course of the year. If you're a ResultSync member, we've made this super easy. Log into ResultSync website, look for our brilliant smart goal setting worksheet. It's just one of the awesome nutrition and lifestyle guides on there. Number two, limit your resolutions or focus on a goal at a time. You might have a really long list of potential New Year's resolutions. It's suggested by behavioural psychologists that you pick just one goal and focus all your energy on it rather than spreading yourself too thin across a load of different objectives. Taking on too much all at once can be pretty daunting. Establishing any new behavioural pattern takes time and sustained effort. And achieving just one small goal can really boost your self-belief. And for larger goals, consider breaking them down into manageable chunks so that you can work on one at a time. Last but not least, put time into your planning or make a detailed plan. A detailed written plan can really help us stick to our goal. Why is this stage so critical for success? Well, for one thing, it allows us to consider what tactics we might use when faced with challenges. When things get difficult, what strategies will we employ to stay on the path toward making our resolution a reality? Now, you can start by writing down your goal and then maybe make a list of things you might do to achieve that goal and then note any obstacles that could stand in your way. Now, by knowing exactly what you want to accomplish and the difficulties you might face, you will be much better prepared to stick to your resolution and overcome anything that might sidetrack you. Well, I think that's enough tips to be going on with. In the next instalment, we're going to cover some more essential tips about how to make a resolution a reality. And as always, if you've got any tips or techniques that you use, please do let me know. Or if you'd like to share your resolution with me and all of us on here, okay, that's a bit of a spoiler for next time, but if so, do please get in touch. Meanwhile, remember, the very best motivations drive the best actions. So what are your reasons and why do they matter to you? Take care and I will see you next time.